Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited because I went to Sephora and I bought almost everything from the Rare Beauty collection. Now I found some products that I liked, I found some products that I didn't really like. So I will update the description box um, as I wear this because I am going to do a wear test for you guys. As you can see, it looks very minimal. It looks natural also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you are new here please subscribe and ring the bell you'll be notified of all my future uploads anyway let's get on with the video all right so here is my bag from sephora it's not the biggest bag i've ever had from sephora like they packed this full though this was actually uh got it with my points so this is the kate somerville daily foaming cleanser so this is something exciting i was almost out of cleanser anyway so that was really cool like i love their little like 100 point items and this was actually this is pretty big compared to what their 100 point items usually are this i got is a mini i believe from kaja i think that's how you say it and this was, this was $16. Oh, it's so cute. It's so little. Gosh, I don't know if it's like the right tone. I didn't really know what I was buying, but I just bought it. Cause like, I knew it was gonna be like a highlighter. Oh my God, it's so little. Does anybody else keep tissue paper for like Christmas? Is that just me? Like, I always keep their tissue paper for Christmas. So I bought me a refill of the Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit. I love this mascara. It is my favorite. And then, because I'm not really good at eyeliner, I bought the mini version of the Benefit Roller Liner. I heard it was really good. So I'm going to try it out. It's matte, so it's not going to be like, uh, like have a glowy look to it. I don't know if I'll use it in today's video. I might use it in a future video. All right, so the last thing I got that was not Rare Beauty was this Fenty Beauty uh, Minis. So it's called Fly Baby. So this was $24 and you get an eyeshadow primer. I got the Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. So this is a glow boosting mist that hydrates, primes, sets, and refreshes skin. So this is all by Rare Beauty. I'll get the lip balm out first because that just seems really interesting. Ooh, so this is the packaging. That's interesting. So it just lays flat like a little mountain. Oh, yeah, it's just clear. Might be good. There we go. Put that on. This is probably going to go everywhere with me. It, it smells like... has like a light scent to it like regular lip balm but it brings back childhood memories like but here is the blush i was really confused because i thought this was white like everything else but it's not okay stir it up a little bit all right so there is the doe foot applicator really interesting i just put it right where i had that lip balm so that's what it looks like on my hand. I'll blend it out for you guys. Ooh, it actually looks really nice and it dries out to a matte, I believe, matte liquid blush. But that is really pretty. I think that would go really good with me. All right, so here's the foundation. It's like a glass bottle, I think. I don't know, maybe it's plastic. So we'll shake it so I can do a swatch for you guys. This is in the shade 140C. Oh, very liquidy. Okay, so this might actually work for me. Very liquidy, wow. Here is the doe foot of the concealer. It feels thick. Seems like it might be a good shade. I might have to go in a little lighter because I do like my concealer to be lighter. Cause I mean, look at that. It's also like six o'clock in the evening, so me doing my makeup right now i'm gonna have some imperfections but i clean my face off with a makeup wipe and then i moisturize and everything all right so here is the primer so i'm gonna go in with that first oh wait here is the primer put it on oh 
very shiny oh my gosh maybe i used too much so i did my eyebrows and a little bit of eyeshadow i kept my eyeshadow kind of neutral just because or natural neutral because i don't know it's just the vibe i'm getting from this so i already used the primer so now i'm going to use the foundation but i'm going to shake it up again so i hope oh, it's so liquidy so i'm really scared on how much I should use. So I didn't buy the sponge or the brushes, so I'm just gonna use my regular beauty blender. Um, I heard like mixed reviews on the sponges, so I don't know. And I didn't really wanna spend the money on the brushes since I had to buy everything else. So it feels like nothing is on my face. It feels like I'm blending out absolutely nothing very sheer coverage and this shade seems to work for me blends out nice oh my gosh i like this there i'll just And also, I still have the lip balm on, and it just, it feels so good. All of this, like, feels so nice. And I love dewy foundation. I have really dry skin, so a dewier foundation is, like, heaven to me. Part of me wishes I didn't do my eyeshadow already. I feel like I've been blending forever. So for the foundation, I got the shade 140C, but I did that also with the concealer. Now I don't really know how much I should go in with. It's really light. Oh, I don't usually have to dip back into it, but maybe this is like a thinner formula. Seems to blend out well. But I don't know if I really noticed a difference. So maybe, like it's a little thicker than the foundation, obviously. I think concealer is supposed to be. It blends out beautifully. So this definitely adds more coverage. So this concealer is a little lighter than the foundation oh that coverage is amazing oh my god wait so i'm gonna go in with the blush real quick um let's do a little bit is that good So I went in with too much. On camera, it doesn't look like I went in with that much, but um, I know I did. And it is definitely matte. Um, it only looks a little dewy because of the foundation. And it looks like it might have picked up some of my foundation not all of it but as i'm stamping this out like you can see my freckles are showing through there let's see what happens you can see like my beauty blender soaked it up it's very nice though so i'll just go in with less next time but this worked out amazing oh I love it. Oh my gosh. This is like, as of right now, I think this is my favorite blush. I'm just going to use the Fenty Beauty Powder in Lavender. I'm going to try to apply it with a beauty blender. So that didn't work. I tried setting it with a beauty blender. I've seen other people do it. That's just something I'm not going to be able to do.
so you can see the shine went down a lot but i just i need my under eyes set does look a little cakey in that area like really cakey actually um so maybe it's not supposed to be set all right so everything's set as you can see like it is cakey up there i know i've mentioned it a million times like i do this it does crease um i might i might have used too much powder i'm not sure but i'm gonna finish off the rest of my face I don't really have any products that you guys want to see other than I have the setting spray left, but I will do that after. So I'm going to do mascara, I'm going to do some highlighter, bronzer. So here is the setting spray. So it seems like it has like some oil things in it. So I'm going to spray. Okay. Smells like water. Yeah, like straight up. Smells like I just sprayed water. Thank you all so much for watching. This is really nice, um, a trying a new brand. Now, I don't usually do this, just run out and buy stuff like full face from a brand, but it was so affordable. Like I know it, I spent like 200, but I also bought extra items. I like how the foundation is like half the price of regular foundations like from other brands now this honestly just felt like water there are better setting sprays so i don't think this is like my favorite like my ride or die honestly i wouldn't buy the setting spray again i think i would buy all of it again i would be more mindful with the blush like i feel like this is gonna last me forever like forever it doesn't seem as pigmented now which is really crazy because I put on a lot like you guys saw it so I don't know if my skin just soaked it up or maybe my bronzer kind of took over but when I first applied it that was a lot um so I would definitely I would repurchase it just again be mindful the concealer I really liked um it is definitely a little lighter than the foundation which that might be what it's supposed to be i think i would definitely repurchase this foundation it is working out for me i love the doing this like it just it felt amazing it felt like i had nothing on just like right now i feel like i have nothing on other than mascara like mascara is really heavy to me like i said i kind of wish i didn't buy this anyway thank you all so much for watching i had so much fun um i hope to do this again soon and i hope you guys have a good night bye